most anticipated interview every week is the Eagle County Animal Shelter. And joining me today is Rhiannon Rowe, and she's brought Tallulah, which is just an adorable puppy. She's still a puppy. She's about 10 months old at this age. Yeah, she's around 10 months. We think she's a pit bull mix. Um, she's spayed, she's microchipped, up to date on all of her vaccines, so she's ready for her new home. She looks like a mountain dog, like a yeah. typical, <laughs> very athletic dog, like she's ready to take on the mountain with you. She's great on walks. Um, she knows all of her basic commands. She rides great in a car, so she's definitely ready for her new adventure. And how is she doing with the cold weather? Um, she likes it actually. The snow that was a nice um, experience for her this morning before we left to come here. So <laughs> she wants to sit up here with she us. <laughs> but otherwise, you were talking about how really well socialized she is. Yeah. And I understand she gets along with kids and dogs. We're not sure about cats. We're not sure about cats, but she's pretty easygoing. Um, we, she plays with little dogs at the shelter all the time. So I think she should adapt to a new cat too. It's the cats that. That's the issue. That's totally. Not yeah. Tallulah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Do you guys have a lot of animals at the shelter right now? Not too many. You know, we have probably about six or seven dogs that are up for adoption, about the same amount of cats, um, but we're always getting in new ones all the time. Okay. So. And what is the process for going about and adopting from the shelter? Yeah, so Tallulah here, she's $100. Okay. Um, so just to get started on her, we just have you fill out an application. We like to just get to know the people that are thinking about adopting her, um, possibly have them meet, um, have her meet their dog if they have one, have them meet their whole family. Okay. And then from there, we just have them fill out an application. Usually we can do um, an adoption the same day. Okay. So, so yeah, it's pretty simple. You mentioned you have a few special programs going on at the shelter yeah. right now. Coats, can I name it Coats for Canines? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's um, kind of a new tradition we're trying to start. Just um, if you need a dog coat for your dog, come down to our shelter. We have um, quite a few that have been donated over the years. And if you have any coats um, and you want to donate to us, so we're always taking in new coats and we just kind of want to make sure that all the dogs are going to be warm this winter. That's so. great. And then you also have a special holiday party yeah. coming up. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's more designed for, for kids, but all, you know, kids of all ages can show up. But we're going to be doing some fun crafts at the shelter, decorating cookies, um, just playing with the dogs and cats there. So it's going to be on December 9th from 11 to 1, and we just ask that you call us to sign up for it. So. And right now, do you have like a lot of volunteers stopping by to help walk the dogs? Do you always need more? Does it change from the summer to the winter? Sometimes it changes. Um, you know, we have more of the fair weather folks, but uh, we always need volunteers just to come in, play with the cats, walk the dogs. Our next class is actually going to be on the 7th of December. Um, but yeah, if, if you're ever interested, just give us a call at the shelter. We can kind of let you know what um, it takes to become a volunteer. And, and so there's that, a little so. bit of training involved yeah. before you guys let people loose with the yeah. animals. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, not too much. Um, but yeah, we definitely always love to have volunteers come in. And your shelter specializes in dogs and cats, and but nothing else really. We can bring in, um, we've had birds, guinea pigs, um, we've had snakes, you know, and anything and everything, um, just don't nothing probably bigger than dogs. <laughs> so. But for the most part, you guys focus on dogs and cats. Yeah. yeah. And this time of year, do you find that people are really kind of in the mood to try to adopt a pet because of the holidays? That is, is it a popular thing to do at Christmas? Would you prefer people didn't like? <laughs> You know, every, every situation is different, so we always like to talk to anybody that's interested in adopting. Um, we don't really see a huge spike in adoptions during um, the holidays, but, you know, you never know. So every day is different at the shelter. <laughs> Rhiannon, thanks so much for coming yeah. in, and thank you for bringing Tallulah. She's yeah, delightful, she's... and she has really charmed everyone here at the yes. studio. <laughs> thanks Definitely. so much, and good luck with your holiday party and your co-drive. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned. We've got your weather forecast coming up next.